I'm doing this vid just two days before the the, um, the show trial of the Swiss Nazi Justice Department of Bern under murder threats of the Swiss police and uh, while Swiss Nazis come hit and physically aggress me and ring at the door to do so just before the trial starts so here that's where, you, where they rang I was standing there inside my children were there behind the other door here they were crying they were afraid by all these Nazis standing around nice eh? and they, they've been doing these things for 16 years so and I was standing here and one of these guys with me was there and then the others were standing there this is like Nazi Germany like in the 30s or even worse so I was standing inside see there excuse me for the bad image before because I've got a uh, very slow card in here which is probably not even 10 megabyte per second so sorry about that and these Swiss make sure that all trial cases will never make it to the Supreme Court so none of these terror cases against immigrants with intensive political backgrounds will ever see an international hearing such as the Strasbourg based Court of Human Rights thus Switzerland keeping its clean face which is very important for these very organized Swiss criminals who wipe their proverbial fingerprints the very thing criminals do and there's absolutely no one in this Nazi state who acts against these crimes against humanity where Swiss left-wing socialist members are just pretenders and actually hide their equally extreme right convictions. And if an immigrant dares to criticize the Swiss and Switzerland, then these Swiss criminals make sure to enforce a mental stigma on the foreigner. Another punishment, an additional Swiss terror and humiliation to define free speech with some psychiatrical defect for intimidation as this corrupt nepotist by the name of Dr. Kurt Kunz did to me, Sean Ross, in 2002 in the torture detention center of Amthaus Bern where they murdered many people there's a whole list and this guy collaborates with that this is the Swiss way to get rid of a nuisance. They dragged me against my will to talk two times 40 minutes with this extremely dangerous personality who develops massive criminal energies. Together with his pal Jean-Pierre Vicari, etymologically a descendant of the Swiss Inquisition's Vicari Forane and its Swiss guard of the Vatican. So this guy is a judge and a member of the Nazi Swiss People's Party. He's an extremely dangerous character and entirely corrupt and is a nepotist as the other one. They're pals. So here is the word I was talking about and Vicari, the first part of the word, that was the, the, the guy you saw just uh, before. And he's a judge just like his ancestors were the judges of the Inquisition and they still do it today and this was a Swiss invention from the first from the first place you know it was Heinrich Kramer Inquisitoris and um, Jacobus Sprenger Inquisitoris who wrote the book The Witch's Hammer The Maleus Maleficarum and well I got confronted with these evil guys here so you can read it about the Inquisition. So this is really the center of evil here. It was a Swiss idea and they're still around and still doing the same thing. So this guy, his name was Jean-Pierre Vicari. And he's a pal with the other criminal, Kunz. 
and I'm going to show you how this Kunz is related with the uh, story of Mr. Hitler and another Kunz who was Hitler's dentist coming up so this is Swiss nepotism and corruption here you can see this is Kurt Kunz and he's related to an, a former SS doctor who also treated Hitler and uh, yeah well and killed the children of the uh, six children of the Goebbels family yeah that is in 2002 so he made this um, and there was an order of his pals I mean this is corruption you know this guy he's uh, he's doing standard he's using standard letters and a lot uh, psychiatrical analyzes and then he just changed the names you know and the place is like this is how they do it this is corruption so they did this in 2002 in the uh, torture detention center Amthaus in Berg, the capital of this evil country in the base of Octagon and they have a whole list of immigrants who had been murdered there real many and this guy he um, he's part of that system here killing people and terror so this is in German about me it says I'm crazy well if you criticize Octogon the base of evil and the Swiss state and about what they're doing then you're crazy it says I'm paranoid you know like paranoid means somebody is sick and sees things that aren't so they want me and I have been living with this you know on my back like for what is it 12 years yeah, since 2002 11 years this is sheer terror so not only the letter content of this letter is standard which he uses again and again he probably used the same thing like hundreds of times I mean this is not me and they forced me to speak with this guy in my life I never ever had any reason to see a psychiatrist you know no way so they forced me uh, he, he spoke with me like two times 40 minutes that's all and then he, he wrote all this well this is how they do it and if you dare as a foreigner to um, to criticize Switzerland well then you're crazy and as you know I criticize Switzerland I dig in the history I wrote articles in international newspapers in Austria and Germany and France and here in Switzerland I do this thing on YouTube and if you do this if you dare to do this the center of power of the world where all the Freemasons are being commanded you know get the orders through the Templars of Switzerland well then you get real problems then you're crazy and they did this with a lot of foreigners immigrants there's a lot of immigrants telling me and contacting me phoning me here in Switzerland and they said well to me they did the same thing and I can't see my children anymore exactly the same thing and they make sure you know that every court case it never makes it to the uh, Supreme Court or well you don't even have to think about the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg they make sure it stays local and then destroy the person so this is standard procedure what they do with immigrants just as the text is standard this is nepotism this is corruption at its highest, highest level and there's nobody who controls this well, at least not in Switzerland what do you think even the left wing here in Switzerland they are right wingers as soon as you criticize Switzerland then they turn out to be extreme right wingers I mean the left wingers are here and you see this Kunz guy yeah, he's doing that together with his pal Vicari Jean-Pierre Vicari also of the Swiss People's Nazi Party and you might think what a funny name is this Vicari well that is from the Vicari Foranei 
They were the, um, the judges of the Inquisition. Wow, nice, isn't it? Charming. And these guys or their descendants are still around and still doing the same thing as they did like 500 years ago in the Middle Ages. They're still around. They st nothing has changed. Especially not in this backwards country. They're Kunz. And this guy is related to a uh, Helmut Kunz, the SS, who, knew, who was the dentist of Hitler and killed the children of, um, of the, the Goebbels children. Well, nice personalities, eh? Well, this is the base of evil, folks. This is Switzerland. It's all nepotism, corruption. They're smiling to the world, filling their pocket with Jew gold and, and Nazi gold and, and whatever they can steal and of the, the US tax money, tax evasion, well, you just name it. <laughs> so, please, somebody do something. I think you will make a good show, Mr. Obama, if you could, you know, intervene here. Maybe we'll trust you again if you do that, eh? Okay. Here they wrote down, Bopu Tatswana. This is Swiss humor. I'm a South African. And they just make fun of somebody else's misery. This is what the state is doing. Ha, ha, ha. Swiss humor. You know? Because they have the real superiority feeling, these Swiss. They really think they are more than the rest of the world. You know, here's some more. Boputsabwana. Well, that's funny, isn't it? Eh? Swissies. And when they put me in the, um, the forced labor prison of Witzwil, they stole all my belongings and, for the, um, and all my money. They stole, <laughs> you know, the state steals. And they stole my computer, they stole our trailer, they stole my child. This is the biggest criminal mafia in the whole world. And this is what they do, you know, Boputsaswana. Well, that's funny, eh? Yeah. Just to, to make you feel small, you know, they're all laughing. And they do laughing about it, you know, you're standing there handcuffed and then they are laughing, eh? And saying bad things about an immigrant. That's what they do. It lies in the Swiss inhibition within their criminal characters that the whole of Switzerland is in fact infested by corruption and nepotism. I mean, look at their banks, what they're doing and what they did. Now, watch carefully the facial identity of this Swiss crook and compare that with this face here of another Dr. Kunz. By the name of SS Offizier of the most notorious German regiment of the 3rd Totenkopf Division. And this German war criminal from the south of Germany, near Switzerland, where they speak in Baden-Württemberg the same Alemannic dialect as in Switzerland, he has the same face, the same mouth, eyes and ears as the Swiss nepotist criminal doctor Kurt Kunz has. And they're definitely related and belong to the same Alemannic tribe that reoccupied the south of Germany after the Thirty Year War from 1618 to 1648 when Swiss mercenaries together with and at that time much larger Swiss Pope's guard murdered 20 million Germans or two-thirds of the entire German population as an answer to Martin Luther, Scrolls and the Protestant movement. So this SS dentist, Dr. Helmut Kunz, was born in 1910 in Ettlingen, Baden-Württemberg, in Karlsruhe, at southern Germany, and peacefully died in Freudenstadt, that means the town of pleasures, in the Black Forest, near Switzerland, in 19... 76. So this guy was a Sturmbahnführer. Was that? It's probably the equivalent of a colonel. Yeah. Real bad character from the south of Germany. The same face as Dr. Psychiatrist Kurt Kunz. Same nose, the same eyes, the same ears, the same mouth. 
same Alemannic tribe. Well, these guys are related, I tell you. This SS doctor treated Hitler and other high Nazis. He poisoned the six small children of the Goebbels family, of, the, of Joseph Goebbels, the uh, propaganda minister, in the Führer bunker, Führer bunker in 1945 in Berlin. So here we can see the autopsy of Helga Goebbels. Uh, she was only 12 years old when this SS doctor Helmut Kunz, Sturmbahnführer, murdered her without her consent. And this guy looks perfectly well like the, uh, the other Kunz fella in Switzerland. The one I got confronted with in the Swiss torture detention center in 2002. Charming, isn't it? And as an SS dentist, um, Sturmbahnführer Helmut Kunz of the SS probably knew more about the Nazi gold taken from the teeth of concentration camp prisoners, which all went to the Nazi motherland of Switzerland, thus making their way back to Switzerland concerning the other Kunz fella. The one I got confronted with in the torture detention center in Bern in 2002. And I'll tell the world what you did, Swissies. You're not getting away with that easily, with this crime, Swissies. Do you hear me? Do you copy?